Today's market is not the same market that it was six months ago. In today's video, we're going to discuss the ever-changing Omaha real estate market, and we're going to get started right now. Hi, my name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now let's jump in to today's topic. Now the market we have today is not the same market that we had six months ago. The market we've had for the past two years has been unsustainable. Okay, I'm not saying that we flipped and that we're now in a buyer's market. No, far from it, we're still in a seller's market. However, some of the activity is you're starting to see signs of slowing and then you're starting to see a few more listings on the market, those homes that are on the market are staying on the market just a little bit longer before they go under contract. The seller that was getting eight to nine offers and 40 showings in a day back in January, that very same seller might get 10 to 15 showings and then maybe two or three offers versus eight or nine. Okay, and several of the buyers that I'm working with, they're noticing that homes are starting to stay on the market a little bit longer. But again, does that mean that the real estate market is flipping or we're going to crash or we're in a buyer's market? Absolutely not. And that's actually a good thing because some of the tactics that a buyer had to use in order to get under contract, some of that is going to start to go by the wayside. Now, on a really hot property, you know, that's in a great location and it's priced right, you know, you may still have to use some of those tactics in a multiple offer situation. It's going to depend on the property. For example, I had a home uh, last week in Country Club that had it been listed in January, we would have had probably 40 showings in, in several days, but instead we didn't have quite as many showings. Now we still got multiple offers and they still sold for, you know, got a very healthy price for the property. But again, you're starting to see the market slow just a tad. Now, summer scent tends to slow the market a little bit, but I think what we're really starting to see is the impact of the rise in interest rates. In any market, if you're a seller, proper pricing is always important. Now, the market we're in now is not the market that you can overprice the home and all the cards are going to line up in your favor, meaning appraisal gap coverage. You're going to pick your closing date or possession date. You know, the buyer is going to forego a home inspection. We're going to start to see a transition out of that kind of a market. And that's actually a good thing because that's one of the reasons why they increased interest rates in order to tap down in inflation because we still have low inventory. So what their Fed is trying to do is they're trying to take and relieve some of that demand by taking some buyers out of the marketplace. And that's by design. If you're one of those buyers that are sitting on the sideline because it's like, well, I think we're going to, I can sit on the sideline and I can wait until, you know, prices come down. That might be kind of like running east looking for a sunset. And here's the other thing too. You got to remember that real estate is local. The market in Omaha, Nebraska is going to be different than in Austin, Texas. Different price points are different as well. Different school districts have different markets. Okay, there are markets inside markets and every market is gonna be different. And here's the other thing too, if you're a seller, you may have to uh, kind of adjust your, your mindset a little bit. You know, well, my neighbor sold for X or my neighbor sold their home in four hours. As a seller in the current market, you may need to adjust your expectations just a tad. I mean, showings are, are slowing down, okay? And homes are not flying off the market like they were earlier this year. And that's, that's good. You know, if you're a buyer, you wanna be careful about the news you listen to and, you know, some of the YouTube channels that, in the national media that I think kind of tend to spook some buyers out there or they give them the notion that, hey, prices are going to come down, so I better wait. If you are qualified and if the payment makes sense in your budget, then go ahead and buy. I mean, we're at five and a half percent interest rates. When you look, historically speaking, that is a fabulous interest rate. Now, yeah, you're going to pay more for the property. But again, you got to look at real estate from a long term perspective. This is not something to where if you're in it to try to make a quick buck, I don't think that's the right mindset, but you do what you want to do. Now, in any market, a few things are a certainty. A properly priced home will sell. There will always be a real estate market because people get transferred with their job, people get married, people get divorced. They have kids and unfortunately, you know, people are going to pass away. So these life events create 
real estate transactions. Now we've seen a significant increase in interest rates, okay? But that affects where buyers enter the market. And as rates increased, that has moved some buyers out of the market. And that's what we've seen. But again, we still have low inventory. Now, because of the pandemic, I mean, in the past few years, you know, the government has spent too much money. They printed too much money. You know, we paid people not to work. And sooner or later, that party is going to end. And what they, they lowered interest rates to try to stimulate the economy. However, what happened is the economy got overheated. So now what they're trying to do is kind of trying to rein that back. So if you purchased a home in the last two years, congratulations, you're going to be able to tell your grandchildren that you bought a home with a 3% interest rate. Okay. And that is fantastic. If you got an affordable payment, you know, and you purchased a couple years ago, you're going to be good to go. And here's the other thing too, you know, just the past couple of months, we've had all these news stories about institutional investors buying up all these rental properties. If the market was going to crash, well, then that means all these institutional investors have just completely wasted their money. So they are pretty smart folks. They know what they're doing and they've bought into this market. So that kind of tells you that, you know, prices are not coming down. And then all of the people that have locked in that low interest rate, those folks are not going to be moving unless they have to move. We have not built enough homes, and so we kind of have to build our way out of this. You know, they're not going to be able to build homes that fast. So if you're looking for things to come down, now things may slow down, but they may not be coming down, which double-digit appreciation, you know, if you're a homeowner, hey, that's great. But if you're a buyer, hey, that's no fun, you know. And if you're a first-time home buyer out there, you know, don't give up. You know, if the market cools a bit, that's going to be a good thing because that's going to give you an opportunity to buy a home. If you're a seller, pricing is going to be important. So you want to go back to the basics and do the right things like make those repairs, stage the property. What we'll probably see is a more normal market. Right now in the Omaha area, hey, we're still in a seller's market. Speaking of markets, you know, it's a great time to... Uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. If you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hey, and be sure to watch this video next and you make it a great day.